Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. In this tutorial, we're finally going to add another frame and actually going to test our scripting prowess. How good are you guys? Are you really good enough to make this work? I hope so. Otherwise, I'm not good enough because I'm teaching you. Huh? Alright. Script. And that wasn't meant to be funny. That was just supposed to be stupid. I don't know why I even said that. Anyway. So we're going to go down to the level. And we're going to insert a text button. We're going to make this text button centered. And rather... I'm going to go with point 0.3 and point 0.1 again. Because I just liked how that was sized. Which means we go to point 0.35 and point 0.45... Yeah. And then and then we're going to change the text to be play. Go up because we're lazy and we're going to go with a Roblox button. We're going to change the text color to 200 200 200. And then we're going to change the font to Arial Bold so it catches people's attention and change it to text scaled. So now we have play. And I just want to see something real quick. Nope, it doesn't look like we can change multi-line. Uh, but as you can see, this is the selected value I thought would be in text boxes, but isn't. So just a simple play button and we're going to insert a simple script for a simple button and the script will just say script that parent I'm just gonna run through the parents until we get to the player script that parent 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 okay one parent two parent three parent four parent meaning five parents script that keep where's my mouse there that parent that parent that parent that parent five parents that level that value equals and we're just gonna copy this because we're lazy plus one now you guys probably are all calling me out right now saying hold on that's going to run as soon as the script loads you're right I kinda skipped a few steps so we're going to fix this and we're going to put script that parent that mouse button one click connect function sorry about that if you guys heard my family yelling to each other uh, apparently my mom wanted to call my little brother so script that parent that mouse button one click connect function and then oh I didn't I, okay I guess hang tab should do that well I'm still gonna hit tab and then I guess I can separate these at the equal sign all right, so this is just one line, but it's still wrapping the words. Still haven't figured out how to fix that, but eh. I'm starting to get used to it, I guess. Script that parent that mouse button one click, connect, function. You guys all know that means when it's clicked with the left click or the right click if it's configured differently. Then script change the value to equal plus one of the current value. End. Simple script, simple text button only problem is we actually have to make a level two or level one screen and we're going to get rid of that button for this uh, we're going to have to change this name to level one and just so that we all know that it's the level we'll just go with really bright white I guess and then we make this invisible and we can now tools test play solo just wait a couple seconds for it to load there we go alright we're going to click play now and it changed we have all we have everything working now let me just prove to you guys that level is in the player where I said it would be players player one level there's a reason however that I put this script 
into the GUI rather than to the player where it might have been easier to just say script.parent.change. The reason I did that is because scripts do not run when they're in the player directly. If they are in player GUI, if they are in starter, or if they are in backpack, I don't know if they'll run, they shouldn't run in starter gear, but if they're in player GUI or backpack, the scripts will run. However, if they're underneath the player and not in either of those two uh, folders, I guess, they have a folder icon, if they're not in either of those, they will not run. Okay? Hopefully I've made that clear enough. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I'll catch you guys next Monday.